Good afternoon, folks. This is Marius from MariusLandman.com and from the Twitter handle LandM underscore Marius. Yeah, today in Australia, it's Sunday morning here. It's the 16th of September 2018. And I tell you what, it's just a fantastic, beautiful day here in Australia. And I really want to be out on the beach, but it's really important for me to make this video for you and show you uh, to the premium members rather uh where we see the price of bitcoin going so uh, yeah let's get into this and um, if you ever come into australia and so many of our premium members have done so uh, came into brisbane into the international airport uh, you can use cryptocurrencies there to pay for coffee accommodation uh, just literally everything guys and here in australia cryptocurrencies is really taking over it's uh uh, I live in Brisbane and uh, we've got several meetings with the uh, Brisbane airport with different companies, different enterprises, and they all are starting to adopt and use payments in Litecoin, Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies, uh, Digibyte as well. So uh, if you ever come into Brisbane or into Australia, please stop by and uh, come and visit us. So guys, uh, what's happening in Bitcoin is... Uh, it's fantastic what is happening. This is one of the most amazing opportunities that we will ever have. And not just the most amazing opportunity, but the only opportunity at this moment in time for you and me to make an enormous amount of money. Going forward in the next uh, 120 days, uh, we are going to see millionaires being created. Uh, one of my friends that I personally like a lot and there's a great guy and a great analyst and a great chartist is most likely going to become the first self-made billionaire in the world. He's very well known on Twitter and on social media, not as much on social media, but many of you know him. And if I say his name now, you guys will know who that is. But guys, um, if, if you can become a billionaire by investing in cryptocurrencies, I mean, where in the world have you ever seen that? You can't do that by owning a coffee shop. You can't do that by owning a brick and mortar business. And uh, the opportunities in cryptocurrencies is just incredible. And it's, it's phenomenal. And I congratulate you that you have taken the chance, the risk, and the tenacity really to invest in cryptocurrencies you will be richly rewarded the patience that you are showing is going to pay off and i'm going to show you as premium members and by the way i thank all the premium members i really appreciate the business that you give us and uh, i really want to say thank you uh, for your business and your support there is I've, I've never seen so many positive, good-hearted people. And I really want to thank you for supporting us in the last uh, two and a half, almost three years now. And also for your other members on other platforms, we really appreciate your business. And uh, going forward, we hope that we can be of um, assistance to you in helping you make an enormous amount of money. And I tell you now, guys, it's going to happen. One thing that you really need to think about is your mentality, your thought process. If you want to know where you will be in five years from now, just listen to what you say, listen to what you tweet on social media, and listen to what you think, okay? If you, for example, think that you are going to stay in debt and you will never get out of your debt, I promise you in five years from now, that's where you still will be. For you as premium members, I want you to start thinking a little bit different. See your vision, see your future. You can time travel into the future in the next five years and you can see yourself where you are, in what house you are, what car you are driving, what family you have, what friends you have, how your family will be, what your children will study. So if you want to know where you will be in five years from now, guys, listen to what you say to yourself. 
Avoid negative conversations, avoid negative tweets, avoid negative social media comments. Focus on your goals and you will achieve it. I tell you now, that is how life works. I've seen it myself. For me, I grew up in an orphanage. Okay. Um, I never really uh, met my real dad. I was adopted at a later stage. But I grew up in an orphanage and at a very early age, at the age of 13 years old, I realized that if I put my mind to something positive and I keep on saying that and I focus on that, it's going to arrive in the future. And I tell you what, my life, I'm almost 50 years old now, and uh, my life has just been an exceptional, beautiful ride. Guys, whatever you want to achieve in life is something that you just need to write down, visualize and focus on that. So what we see in the future for Bitcoin is something extraordinary. It's something that is going to make a huge amount of money. And I'm going to give you a figure by the end of this video where we see the market cap for Bitcoin in five years from now. Okay. So on this uh, screen that you see now, you can see this is the Bitcoin chart and it's based on the four hour chart. And uh, if you followed our reports, you will notice that we've always said that uh, the market is going to go down with seven legs. And you can see here, this is leg number one, leg number two, leg number three, if you just follow my mouse there, leg number four, five, six, come down and then break out at leg number eight. So I am going to give you the time frame for the next 58 days to give you an idea of what we see in our algorithm where Bitcoin is going to go. And unfortunately, guys, the low for Bitcoin, in our opinion, is not yet in. We may be wrong, but I'm just going to give you an indication of a possibility that we need to have a look at. Our algorithm kicks out a whole bunch of different scenarios and out of the 36 combinations, we have to narrow down to the most likely um, uh, forecast where Bitcoin will go. Now, where we are at the moment is there we are now with a Bitcoin price of 6,455 as I make this video. Now, let's just zoom into this a little bit and I'm going to show you what is going to potentially happen with Bitcoin. Now, as you can see here, exactly as predicted, the market came all the way down here to approximately 5.9 before then went upwards. Um, and we identified this level here, uh, we actually identified B was approximately there. So we said we're gonna create a big A, B, C, D, E. Um, let me just see if I can bring that chart up here. There it is. So this is the report number 61 of 6th September. And this is where we said that is a big A, B, we're going to go up to C, D, E. But the trend is that green line, with e, which is basically uh, just upwards into that point there. And the high point that we identified was 9,028 with as high as 9,663. And potentially it can even potentially hit the $10,000 level but I'm going to show you why I think that we're going to hit the lower levels instead. And it's literally because of this little drop here that, we, that is unexpected. Okay, but here, we, here you can see here on the bottom right that this is where we've said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number eight is the breakout leg. Now bear with me as we go through the rest of the video. Now, you can see that um, if you look at the overall chart of Bitcoin, you can see that this is the, see that little red line there? coming down there, that was kind of like your resistance line before Bitcoin literally just there broke out of that re resistance line. Now, the resistance line literally became support when Bitcoin came all the way down, touched that uh, to the T, literally touched that line, went up, broke down here, and we say now that that little trend line there from A, B, C, D, E, that high point, that is where we expect the market to go. Now, what I'm going to show you is what is going to happen over the next 58 or so days. Now, in our reporting, 
Um, and keep keep an keep an eye on these domes that I've just created here because I'm going to show you the algorithm data in Apple, how that correlates with the data that we are using now. Because we use a whole bunch of different data. That data can be the Apple data, the uh, the gold, silver, as well as Microsoft, and a whole bunch of other. Uh, data points which I don't want to get into now because it's all proprietary information. So most of our calls are pretty accurate and then our trend forecasts is very very accurate. So if you look at this uh, where we said that the market is going to break out here at point number eight, the market broke out there, it came down here, and then we said the market is going to go A, B, C, D, E up to that high point. Now what is going to happen from here now? We expect the market to literally go up and follow that line there, follow this line. That line's a little bit higher than our point that we identified, but we expect that the market could potentially jump up and jump up again a few times till it reaches perhaps that high point there of about $8,000. Could it be that this low point C is a little bit lower? Let's say yes, it can be, and that can be lower, and that can also be lower. So yes, that is a possibility. Now, if you look at this level here, that could potentially be the high point because that is a resistance point for point E to break upwards and out into this line here. And uh, you'll see that we identify this as our maximum high point could be 9028, but it could also be that level there, which is about $8,500. So let's just put that in there as well. Um, okay, so the low point could be 8500. But nonetheless, guys, you will see that year uh, on the 24th of September, we expect to hit point C, the market then. So it will go all the way up to point C, come down slightly, and then go up to point E. Uh, point E could be a breakout leg where the market simply just explodes higher into, let's say, around about October 1, 2, 3, or 4. Uh, just one caveat that I just want to put in here. Uh, just listen to what I say here very carefully. Important note, dates can contract or expand. In this case, I actually think that dates could contract, sorry, not contract, but expand, and that um, if we give a date here, for example, the end of this month, which is about uh, the 1st of October, where we say that we are going to have this big drop. Uh, that could expand perhaps between uh, that and about five, six, seven, eight days, maybe a week. So it is possible that it can expand, but closer to that time, I will provide reports and give you these date. What really depends on how the next play is gonna be here is this specific point C. Whether we reach the high point there or there, it really depends. I am betting that we will have the high point at 24 September, according to our algorithm. We may be wrong because of a little bit of expansion of time that we've identified in this little area there, which could be about three, four or five days later. But nonetheless, guys, the point that you need to understand is that we are heading up to a high point somewhere here, then a drop. Once you see that high point and the drop and then a vertical price spike upwards, you will know where to get out of the market. Because what is going to happen exactly at this point here, when we reach that high point, is that the market is literally going to do this. It's going to drop and it's going to come back more or less halfway between D and C. Uh, and we don't have those points yet. And this is why I say, as soon as we know where the, where the high point is and where this low point is, we will be able to identify where that retracement will be. It's going to become exactly 50% between C and D. At that point, then the market is gonna go upwards, then sideways here where the red arrow is. It's going to make another high point here. And again, that date can be anywhere from 12 October to 13 or 14 October. And then the market is going to start breaking down, going sideways and then down. Now, look at this blue line here. Now, remember, I'm giving you the, the overall picture. I want you to understand what's going to happen with Bitcoin potentially over the next 40 to 50 days so that you can plan. Because what I want you to do is to come here back into the market here at this low point here. Okay, 
So wouldn't that be great if we can identify this low point and uh, we all get back into the market before the market then breaks out upwards. Now, in our opinion from the algorithm data that we review, whether we hit this high point. So let's say, for example, if Bitcoin touches this level of 8500, we expect a 60, a maximum of a 60% retracement. If that is the case, the market is going to come down and hit this blue line now, uh, which is now the, uh, which at that point will be the support line. Because remember that now is resistance exactly there. The market has to go up and break out, out exactly there. And once it breaks out there and goes to point C, we know that this blue line here will become support. So when the market comes down here, it's going to touch this support line, potentially break through slightly before it then goes up. And um, that date there again could be around about 10 or 12 November. Um, closer to that time, we will be able to identify the point a little bit better. Now, could it be that the market only goes down, let's say around about uh, 40 to 50%? Yes, that's possible. The market can come down here. But in all honesty, guys, um, what we see in our data is that we should have some sort of a capitulation event where the market simply quickly drops down here, goes up the same day or the next day, uh, goes sideways and drops a second time onto that blue line before it then eventually goes up um, something similar like that and uh, reaches the $17,000 mark here around about in December. Um, so yeah, the market is going to go and reach that level in our opinion from what we see from our data. Uh, it's going to be really interesting times, guys. So the main point of this is to show you what we see in our data with the dome there, the breakout there, and then see that the yellow dome there, the market is going to come all the way down there and touch this blue line. Could it come down and touch this line here, this red line? Yes, that's possible. And that line there is about $3,900. Now imagine Bitcoin being 3900 I'm not saying it's going to go to that level, but there is a possibility that it can happen. But more important, we believe that the resistance line is there. And uh, I'm going to show you now the Apple uh, data map. Now, just take a mental picture of what you see here. Okay, so this is Bitcoin going down in seven legs and then breaking out on the eighth leg, coming down to touch that and then coming down to touch it again before it then goes out. And it's normal for a big breakout where there is a big trend reversal for the market to come down twice. Breakout, come down and touch that support line. Breakout and touch the next support line. It's just called stepping. So it's stepping from one support resistance to the next support resistance. And later on, guys, it's going to do that again. It's going to go... It's going to go, as I show you, it's going to go up there and it's going to come back here again before it goes up. So that is step one, step two, step three. Those steps just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I wish I could show you what we see for December and January next year. I mean, massive, massive moves that will make you, by default, most likely a millionaire. And you don't need to have a lot of money. You just need to have the right coins. For example, Litecoin, Digibyte, Stellar, all those that I have on the Marius model portfolio. And just yesterday, I posted a uh, Excel spreadsheet. Have a look at those coins, guys. You don't have to have a massive amount of coins, maybe three, four, five, six or seven coins. But I tell you now, if you invest 50, 60, 50, $100,000, you are going to be a millionaire. If you've got a small amount like 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, you are also going to make a huge amount of money. You don't need to be a millionaire. You may be a mini millionaire by owning uh, $200,000 and then you can pay off your credit cards, uh, put a lot of money off on your, on your mortgage, pay off all your debt. And when you are debt free, man, life is awesome. And remember this, guys, the bankers of this world, they want to keep you confined in a job and they want to give you credit. Stay away from credit cards. Stay away from debt. This is how the bankers keep you tied up. Because if you have debt, you have to go to work every single day. Otherwise, 
you're going to default on your loans. Okay, now keep a, a mental note of these two domes here, and then we're going to go to Apple and have a look at that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the, the breakout leg number eight. Now let's get into Apple. Uh, this is the Apple chart of 2013. Now we use the Apple data in our um, algorithm in some modular quantitative form. And uh, you will also see that from this report here, this is report number 9 August, uh, report number 56. Uh, in this report, basically, we showed that the market is going to come all the way down. It's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's then going to break out exactly there. And the market did exactly what, uh, what we predicted. So here is the Apple chart that we of 2013 in report number 56, indicating the falling wedge formation of Bitcoin. Apple and Microsoft together with gold are two major technology stocks and one physical asset class we follow and we use the algorithm data in some modular quantitative form to predict the future path of Bitcoin. Now exactly what happened with uh, Apple at that time and I'm going to show you something really amazing actually with regard to Apple. You can see here that the market came down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and exactly what it did with uh, uh, with Bitcoin, it broke out there and have a look at where my hand is now. Uh, I'm going to show you that little dome there and I'm going to show you this little dome here. That and that is exactly what is happening with uh, Bitcoin at the moment. After that capitulation event here, we expect Bitcoin to break out exactly what is done here. Go to that high point there and go up a little bit further here. And at that point there, uh, we should be at, at about $17,000 for Bitcoin year in December. So let's have a look here. Uh, you can see that the market here, uh, just a little bit further where Apple broke out. And this is what I say stepping stones, guys. There's one step, two step, three step, and it always it hops and makes these steps. It's up and down, up and down. And we are going to provide you that data. Now, if you look at this Apple chart here, we're not going to follow this exact path. Uh, with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a lot more stronger. It's, uh, it's approximately 10 times more powerful than Apple. You will not believe what we have found in our di data. As a matter of fact, let me just get into the market cap before we go further. The market cap of um, uh, Apple at the moment is about $1 trillion. Now we expect that the market cap for Bitcoin in five years from now is going to be so uh, just to make it sure that you understand what I say, uh, market cap for Bitcoin to be 7.6 trillion dollars. Okay, now that is in five years from now. So the opportunity that you have at the moment is something that you need to cherish. Three, four, or five percent of people in the world, of seven billion people, are now invested in cryptocurrencies. Worldwide adoption has not yet started. We are at the ground floor here. And the opportunity that you have, whether you get in now and keep your coins or wait for this big capitulation event before we buy and get in, you are at the ground floor opportunity. Even if you bought here at 20,000 and you've never sold, even if you bought here at 11,000 and you never sold, 20,000 is going to look really small when Bitcoin reaches $1 million per Bitcoin. Guys, understand what I'm saying here. There are 21 million Bitcoins, period. There is not, no more. You can't go and print them. You can't create them. There's 21 million Bitcoins. With technology advancing and computers becoming faster and more powerful, these Bitcoins are going to be mined a lot faster. And the timeline that most people have and say at the end of the time, the last Bitcoin will be mined in 20 years from now, it's not going to happen, guys. This is most likely going to happen in a very, very short period, uh, possibly five to six years maybe faster as technology develops. Now, what do you think will be the value of the last 1 million coins? You are most likely going to pay a million dollars plus for those last Bitcoins, maybe more. 
the market cap in our opinion from what we see in Bitcoin is going to be a massive massive amount of 7.6 trillion dollars now let's have a look at Apple now this is the this is the Bitcoin chart remember that one two three four five six seven and breakout leg and the two domes here let's go back to Apple one two three four five six seven and then we had a breakout leg now let's go and put these domes in here um, let's just make this a little bit larger and again guys you can see here that um, this blue line here that I'm referring to now exactly that blue line that was the resistance line and that is exactly where Bitcoin break broke out now let me show you here there we go that is exactly where Bitcoin broke out exactly on that dot there okay so you can see my mouse there see there that is where Bitcoin broke out and then here in Apple that is where Apple broke out so let's have a look at the uh, the down let's just put these two domes in exactly what we've done with Bitcoin really uh, there you can see is the one dome and uh, we will put the next one in here okay now with Bitcoin at the moment we are approximately there halfway and we still have to go that little path up there now we expect Bitcoin um, most likely they don't always follow the same path but uh, the trend is almost the same so we expect Bitcoin to do that to go up to C D E and perhaps go round about that level there before it then drops goes up again drops and exactly what has happened with Apple here see that little capitulation event exactly there where it came right down to that support line there so we expect uh, Bitcoin let me just zoom in a little bit and you can see that a little bit more clear <clears throat> okay now see that little last leg down there so we expect Bitcoin also to do the same where it comes down and then literally breaks out to go into November December and make higher highs so um, now you can go back to report number what was that again report number 56 and you can literally go and have a look at that chart there where we predicted that breakout and it's going to follow the same path more or less but come around here it's not going to do the exact same as what Apple is doing some other events take place there that push Bitcoin extremely high so let's just go back to Bitcoin here again um, as you can see here uh, let me just get this a little bit larger okay one interesting aspect if you go to our website here you'll see there's a clock in our website here and we talk about the eight days that Bitcoin the Bitcoin reborn will happen in eight days and eight days later is divine judgment for those who are interested in timelines and a little bit of extra information you can keep watching and I'll quickly explain to you uh, what I mean see this blue line here that blue line there is the end of or the start rather of the uh, the date where Bitcoin will be reborn and eight days later let me just get the right the date range um, if you look at this for example here we we talk about the eight days later which is the divine judgment now let's just move that on a little bit to eight days so the date when Bitcoin will be reborn starts on the 24th of September we then have a down market and then we're going to go up on the eight days after as per the website there eight days of divine judgment this is where we see that the market is starting to break down now very interesting if you look at this till the date that we have identified here being approximately 5 November and remember dates can expand or contract but isn't it interesting that this takes 40 days to happen now according to our algorithm 40 days 
and then we've got the buying judgment year happening there where the market is going to break down here. This period here in the last approximately 30 days, that is the timeline where the elite is going to lose control of Bitcoin. Now, if you look at this entire chart here, this is approximately nine months that we were in a downtrend. Now, remember this as we got here, and I've said that many times, that we overall that we are in a bullish market. So if you were to go into a daily chart and you look at the whole market, the entire market is actually going upwards. Every year, the market has gone upwards and upwards. So in effect, we are in a bull market overall. But when you zoom in, in the last nine months, the market actually came down to a verge and a push out where it's going to break out. Now, a baby, nine months before a baby gets born, so the nine months has passed and Bitcoin will be reborn and go to all new highs. So guys, uh, this just gives you an overall big view picture of what we see in our algorithm. I thought I would present it to you, show you what we see so that you have that big view picture as well. There's no need for fear. There's no need to be anxious. And... Uh, you know, just keep in mind that I'm giving you a probability, a possibility of the market going downwards here. As we get closer and we identify these points, number C, D, E, we will have a better idea. Don't rely on this video to make your financial decisions. Always rely on the reports that we provide because in times going forward every single day things may change and we will update our reports as we go but this the intent of this video is just to give you an overall idea what we see in our algorithm data number one we see the market and, and you can probably identify the market um, segment as this from here we see the market going up till there okay that's all we really need to know from there we see the market going down possibly till there from there, from there onwards, we see the market going up. So one, two, three, a up cycle in September, a down cycle in October, a up cycle year in December. Now, obviously, uh, we can provide these timelines a little bit closer where the market goes up, up and drops, but I'm only interested and this is what I want you to understand. I'm only interested in identifying that top point there. Why? Because that is the high point. I am going to get out of the market on that high point. Now, the second thing is I'm interested in identifying that low point. Why? Because that is where I'm going to get back into the market. I don't care about these levels going up and down, up and down and up and down. And I don't sweat about it. So... I'm a long-term trader. Imagine if you get out here, okay, and then get back in there. You've made a lot more extra value in your portfolios. Your coins have increased. So our business of year at Bitcoin Trend and Forecast is to identify the high points and low points, the extreme high points, extreme low points. So if... Um, if anybody who is not a premium member is watching this video, if you do want to become a member, just go to get membership there. We've made the cost very affordable to every single person and our intent is to help everybody. It's only $24.95 a month. You're not going to pay $100 a month. You're not going to pay $1,000 a month, guys. You only need to pay one subscription fee and understand the market trend. Once you understand the trend, uh, like we've been pretty accurate identifying four, five, six, seven, the breakout, uh, all these levels here. That's all you need to know, really, because you're going to sell high and you're going to buy low. Listen, guys, it's Saturday, Sunday morning here. I'm going to get out on the beach and uh, I wish you an awesome day and look out for the next report within the next 24 to 48 hours. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.